Ready to go? Right, are they playing these? Are they playing opening music or what? We got one. One. Good enough. Yeah. Okay. This is the best. I want you to do the same. Don't aim when you're not here. know you now as the general manager of SmackDown. But with the uh, advent of the WWE Network, uh, people get to go back and see some of the things you've done. I've actually uh, watched uh, Ron Simmons and Butch Reed in a cage uh, last week where he was suspended high above uh, in, a, in a mini cage. <laughs> uh, do people get a chance to come up and talk to you about stuff that they've seen on the network now as opposed to just the, uh, the, the general manager stuff? Well, I think I get a lot more airtime from the network than I did when I was a general manager. Uh, yeah, a lot of people uh, come up and ask me about stuff because a lot of people don't know my history. A lot of people don't know what I did back in the day. You know, of course, manager Butch Reed and Ron Simmons, who were doomed. I uh, had the skyscrapers, uh, Dan Smiley, Sid Vicious, uh, Mark Merrill, uh, Johnny B. Bad, who was another guy that I had. Uh, Ice Train, another guy you never hear nothing about. Uh, I had the opportunity to manage him. So a lot of people see a lot of the old stuff and they asked me they didn't believe, you know, that was good of me doing the stuff. So it's, uh, I just, you know, thank God that I'm still alive and I'm still around to witness some of this stuff and to know that I did it. Cool. Thank you very much. Um, you know, we're here at, at AWE Wrestling with Pop Culture. Now, are you you're here to maybe scout some talent here? Uh, you know, maybe make a return date with some, with some talent? Uh, the reason I'm really here tonight, I wanted to be a part of this uh, wrestling's pop culture. I think this is their anniversary here tonight. Uh, had a chance to talk to Jonathan Williams, a real good friend of mine, and uh, he's been doing this for quite some time. And uh, all I want to do is uh, wish Jonathan a lot of success, and not only him, but everybody that's involved in this, especially AWE, Jonathan's organization, and everybody. And uh, you know, I've learned a lot over the years, and I, I know a lot, so I'm 
I'm willing to share that with some people that don't know. So if I can help the wrestling pop culture guys get on their feet, then that's what I'm all about, player. Awesome. Uh, there's a lot of guys in the back, I'm sure would love to uh, just sit down with you just for a couple minutes if possible. So uh, one of the things that we do here on uh, the Milo Beasley Show, it's called the Top Five. Just make up a random category at the top of my head and uh, ask you the top five. No particular order, five to one, one to five, three, four, two, one, five, doesn't really matter. Are you Teddy? Are you Teddy Long? What are your top five all-time bears? <laughs> Woo! Smoky. Top five bears. Teddy bear. Teddy bear. Smoky bear. Freddy bear. One of my favorite, Teddy Ruxpin. Yeah. Teddy Ruxpin. What do you guys think? What do you think? Yeah. Bears. 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 Well, my favorite band was uh, Ted from the movie. Ted from the movie. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Teddy, thank you very much for coming uh, uh, on here with the, with the Milo Beasley Show, episode number 42. You can catch us at themilobeasleyshow.com. Teddy, uh, are you on the social media? Uh, no, I'm not on any of that. I just don't have time. I ain't got no patience. The so one thing I am on, there's some autographed pictures back there that the people can get, you know, back, back in the back, back there, so we got some stuff for you, so stop by and give us a holler, player. Thank you very much, Big Hop. Real quick, one more time for everyone here, can you give me a holler? Holler, holler, holler. Thank you very much, Big Action and some other stuff apparently. So uh, thank you guys for being here and uh, wrestling for pop culture. Jordan! 